come on up to the top of the mat, roll your shoulders down and back, feet right underneath your hips. Think about standing tall with your alignment, take an inhale, extending those arms up. Exhale, bring them to heart center. And we'll just do a round here of sun salutations with some little accoutrements to stretch us out before we get going. So as you inhale, arms extend up. As you exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, rising up, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Step your right foot back, hold this runner's lunge for a moment, pushing through the right heel, left knee over ankle. Keeping the left hand in the mat, open up, looking up towards the ceiling, and three big circles with that right arm to loosen up the shoulder, warm us up there. Replace the right hand down, pivot and twist to the other side, left arm goes up, three big circles there. That hand finds the mat, release the back knee onto the mat, rising up, arms extend up, opening the chest towards the sky, making sure you're hinging forward, opening that hip flexor, and then pulling down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, reach up, and down, and extend, last time, and extend, and then bring those hands to the mat, hinging back into our half splits, foot flexed, and then point the toe, pressing the foot to the mat, flex the foot, and again, point the toe, and flex the foot, and point the toe, and then press back up into your lunge, left foot steps back, coming to plank, press up to down dog, inhale, come back to plank, exhale, up to down dog, inhale to plank, last time, down dog, inhale, plank, keeping your hands right where they are for tricep push-ups, option to drop knees to the mat, inhale down, Exhale, press up. Not bending the elbows past 90 degrees. And three, two, last one. This time lowering all the way down to the mat. Press up and hold cobra for a moment, opening the chest. Shoulders down and back, spinal extension. Curl the toes under, push up and back, coming to down dog, pressing the feet into the mat. Separate your feet a bit wider, maybe like mat's distance or so. Bend the knees and extend the legs. Bend the knees, extend the legs. Last time, bending the knees, extending the legs. Take the left hand, reach it back to the right ankle, calf or thigh without grabbing the knee for down dog twist. Looking up past your right shoulder, taking a breath there. Placing that hand down, switching sides, right hand reaches back, left ankle, calf or thigh, looking past the left armpit. And place that hand back down, extend the right leg up, hinging forward, and kick back up. And again, four, extend, hinge forward, three, extend, two, this time, plant that foot down, rising up to a high lunge. Opening chest towards the sky, taking an inhale. Exhale, hands find the mat, step the right foot back. Lower down, chaturanga. Flip the feet, pressing up, upward dog. Exhale, press back, down dog. Left leg extends up, hinge forward for five, four, three, two, last one, plant that foot down, rising up, high lunge, take an inhale, opening towards the ceiling, exhale, hands find the mat, step that foot back, lowering down, chaturanga, inhale up, up dog, exhale, press back, down dog, holding here for a breath, And when you're ready, step the right foot forward. So same thing we did on the other side. We're in a long lunge, right knee over ankle, pushing back through the left heel. Keeping the right hand in the mat, opening up to the left, extend the left arm, looking up, three big circles, two, 
and one, plant that hand down, twisting to the right, right arm extends, and three, two, and one, back knee to the mat, inhale as we lift up, arms up, chest opens, pulling down for five, four, three, two, and one, hands find the mat, hinging back, half splits, toes press into the mat, and flex up, point, and flex, and point, and flex. Step that foot down into the mat, push up, we're going to come to the top of the mat, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, bend the knees deeply, rise up into chair, Utkatasana, hands at heart center. Push the hips back, knees over ankles, come as low as you possibly can go, and then we're going to twist. I'm going to go left so you can see me first, left hand on or link your um, hooking onto the thigh, and then turning. So the idea is to twist. So if you find you're more bending over, then go ahead and just bring the elbow to the top of the thigh rather than binding it. See if you can bring the hands to heart center, looking up towards the ceiling, and notice if your hips have shifted, if one knee is in front of the other, see if you can even them out. Taking a breath. And return to center, lift that chest, sit low in the hips, turn to the other side, elbow on top or binding against the thigh, hands and heart center, pressing into the thigh to twist, breathing into it, and release forward fold, let your knees bend, hook your peace fingers around your big toes, and straighten your legs as much as you're able. You might not get all the way straight, that's fine. Use the muscles of your arms to pull yourself downwards. Deepening that stretch. Breathing into it. Bend the knees, drop the hips, and roll yourself up, restacking one vertebra on top of the next. Deep inhalation, arms extend up, interlace the fingers to grow long and tall. Laterally bend to one side, inhale up to center, exhale to the other side, inhale one more time to the first side, and one more time to the other side, and come down, roll those shoulders down and back. All right, so let's get into it. Um, if you're going to use weights today, you can grab some medium weights. You could go lighter, you can use a can of food. I wouldn't go heavier than five, we're gonna be doing a lot of reps of this, so I don't want you hurting your shoulders. Um, so go lighter rather than heavier, and you can also keep different weights around in case you need to drop them and pick up something lighter, or vice versa. So we're gonna come into a deep squat, otherwise known as goddess pose in yoga, but we're gonna be moving, we've done this before, so it's gonna be a constant squatting plie, and then we're gonna add our arm movements. So bring your hands to your chest just to start and sit down and let's find our squat position. So you can adjust your feet, they can go wider, they can go narrower. Most people aren't going to have their toes turned way out because you want your knees to track over in line with your toes. So over your ankles, not coming out over your toes, but you don't want the knees here and the feet out there, right? So find the position that's right for you, see if you can keep the chest lifted. Pelvis is pulling under, so you're going down and up, straight up and down, okay? So it can be a tiny move, like I'm doing now, or you can certainly go more deeply and all the way up without locking knees, all right? So find that position that's going to work for you. Bring the arms by your ribs. We're going to start with bicep curls. So as we bend our knees, we curl up, bending in and curling up. So we're just going to keep this movement going. So this starts to get us a little bit of a cardio workout because we're constantly moving. And then we're going to be toning our arms, we're going to be toning our glutes, our thighs, our calves. If it ever bothers your knees, just don't go as deeply and make sure you're not coming forward. I'm just going to move for a moment, keep going. It's very easy to do like this and collapse in and down which makes you use your knees and not your glutes. I want you sitting down and back so that your glutes fire on and your knees 
are not getting strain. Five, four, three, two. Next will be upward rows. So hands are down here and they pull up towards the shoulders and down. Lift up no higher than shoulder height. I'm not hunching up, not bringing shoulders to the ears. And you're just breathing. Make sure inhaling through the nose. You can exhale through nose or mouth, whatever is easiest. The idea is get the heart rate up, but you shouldn't be like panting for breath. So make sure you're breathing. If you have music playing, you can do this to the music. And let's do 10 more. Keep the belly button pulled in, always being aware that you're pressing the thighs out, pulling the pelvis under. Again, it's easy to kind of forget about that and be mindlessly moving. We still want to be mindful. Four, three, two, hammer curls will be next. So now the palms face inward as we curl up. So this is also working the biceps, but the bicep has different parts of it. So it should feel slightly different. Inhaling and exhaling. Again, being aware that you're not locking your knees when you come up, but you are squeezing your glutes. You can get a little extra squeeze right there at the top. Ten more here. And five, four, three, Two next will be overhead shoulder presses. If you need to drop to a lighter weight, you can. Pressing up and down. Squeezing up and down. So obviously gravity is your friend as you come down, but rather than dropping into it, resist on the way down. So it's almost like a lat pull down at the same time as you're doing a press up. My heart rate is definitely getting up there. Starting to get hot, starting to create some warmth in the body. That's a good thing. Everything about this class is designed to be efficient. We're doubling up. You're getting hip opener here while you're getting glute and leg work, while you're getting upper body work. And three, two, Last one, come to this position, like your goddess position, and then we're gonna do chest presses inward. So closing and opening the door. Squeezing in, and again, if this starts to be a lot on your shoulders, drop the weights. I always want you to protect your joints. You don't wanna be bearing more weight than your muscles could handle, because that just makes your shoulders do the work. I don't want any strained rotator cuffs in my class. Almost done, this is gonna be the last one here. For eight. And five, four, three, two. Last one, Ooh, release that. Bend the knees to lower down and go ahead and just place the weights down so they're out of your way. And then hang over for a moment, letting the head go. If you want to do little, little lunges side to side, that can feel good. And then just release that, bend the knees, roll yourself all the way up. Okay, if you have a ball, a block, or a little sofa throw pillow. I'm gonna take a ball. Grab that now and put it like between your thighs, just above your knees. And then grab a set of weights. I'm gonna keep the same ones I was just using. So these are five pound. You can always go have your lighter. So we're gonna sit and we're gonna hold chair pose. So we're gonna sit down and back. The between your legs is just to help engage squeezing inwards. Of course you don't need it. It's always optional. Sit down, knees over ankles, push the hips back, pull the belly button in. 
We don't want to end up here sticking our butts out with this curve in our back. So long spine, belly button in. We're going to do tricep kickbacks. So the hands start here at the shoulders and then they extend. We're just hinging from the elbow. The shoulders aren't doing anything in this. The elbow is hinging, squeezing up. If it's too heavy, you'll find you can't extend all the way, and then you want to decrease the weight. If you're swinging, you might want to increase the weight or just be aware of that and don't swing. Practice resistance going in both directions. Ten more. Nice and controlled. Seven. Six. Make sure you're sitting low and back. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Extend back. Can you wiggle your toes? Make sure you're sitting in heel on your heels so you can wiggle your toes. And now just pulse up. 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 And again, if the weight that you're using became too heavy, you can take a break, put it down, up, up, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And now bring your hands together and apart. Squeeze together and apart. Squeeze, squeeze. So the shoulder blades are squeezing together. Oh, I came really high up. I wasn't sitting low in my hips anymore. Sit low and back. 10, 9, again without swinging here. Practice resistance. 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and rise up. Roll those shoulders down and back. Take a breath. Let it go. All right, place those weights on the mat. Get the ball out from in between your legs. I'm just checking my time, and of course I have to unlock the entire film in order to do that. <laughs> Take a deep inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Bend the knees, place the hands on the floor. Option to step back or hop back to plank. Turn those hands inwards, getting ready for our next set of push-ups. Again, option to drop the knees if you find your hips drop. Lowering down as low as you want to go, not going past a 90 degree bend of the elbows for five. Exhale up for four. And three, two, last one. Holding here, bring the hands back under center, under your shoulders, belly button in. Holding plank. Hold, hold, hold. Keep holding. Use the breath here. This is a good opportunity to sometimes use a Pilates breath, exhaling through the mouth. That'll really contract your abdominal muscles. If you find you're dropping in the hips, pull the belly button in, and if you need to, drop the knees to the mat. Holding. Five more seconds. Good, five more push-ups. Separate the hands, mat's distance. And five, four, three, two. Last one, bring those hands back under the shoulders. Chaturanga, hover over the mat at the bottom. Holding, belly button in. Flip the toes, press up, upward facing dog. And press back. Downward facing dog, hands extend, arms extend, rolling the shoulders down and back, pressing into the heels, extend the right leg up, bend the knee, dropping that foot towards the other side, opening up the hips here, right hip stacks on top, back to center, hinging across the body, right knee to left elbow, and extend, opening it up, right knee to left, to right elbow. What did I say the first time? We're doing both sides. <laughs> right and left are a challenge. Alternate left elbow, right elbow. Left elbow, right elbow. One more round, make sure you are even. Extend up, place that foot down, rising up. 
opening chest and shoulders, exhale right back down to the mat, back to plank, belly button pulling in. I know, planks are awful. They're so good, so effective. Pressing up, heels to the mat, extend the left leg, bend that left knee, drop it to the other side. Holding here for a breath. Bring that leg back to center. Woo, hinge forward. Left knee to right elbow. And up to left elbow. And extend. Across. And open. Across. And open. Can't remember if we did three or four on the other side. We'll do four here. Right. And left. Extend up, swing that foot forward, high lunge, inhale, exhale, right back to the mat, plank, separate the hands, four or five more push-ups, lower down, exhale up. Again, better to drop to your knees than do it with poor form from toes or to skip it. Just do little baby ones if you need to. Better than that than to skip. Drop the knees to the mat, sit back on your heels in child's pose. Push-ups are hard, chaturangas are hard. A lot of people don't like them. I'd rather you do one well and then hold plank or do five little tiny halfway ones or from your knees than to skip it or, the, or to do them with poor form because those aren't gonna help you. Okay, come on back up. We are done standing. Oh my goodness, I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are sweating as much as I am. Whew, hot mess. Okay. Good, good, good. So, where do I want to start? I have lied to you. I want you to come over onto your hands and knees. If you're using a resistance band, you can grab a resistance band. This is a medium one. You can do a lighter one, or you can do none. And come over to tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Pull the belly button in so you don't have a curve in your low back, right? It's nice and flat. And then we're going to open up and squeeze back in. This is sometimes very indelicately called fire hydrant posture. <laughs> Let's just call it a light lift. Make sure you're pausing for a moment at the top as with everything else. You can do this without resistance. Using your own resistance, you're just not swinging your leg. Lifting up and down. For five, four, three, two. Last one, lift up and hold and little tiny pulses. Trying to keep knee in line with ankle. Typically, the knee will drop down, ankle will kick up, see if you can keep them in line. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that foot down, knee down. Other side, lift up and open, and back together. Squeeze up, pausing at the top, because you're really fighting that resistance. The band wants to pull you back, or gravity wants to pull you back, and you resist it. Keeping the belly button pulled in, so we're not directly working our abs here. But our core is keeping us stable and protecting our back. Lifting up and back in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift up and hold. Knee in line with the ankle and little tiny pulses. Squeeze up, up, up. Whether or not you're using resistance, this should feel pretty killer. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, lower that down. Sit back on your heels, stretching in child's pose. Good, and come on back up. You can keep the band on. If you wanted to grab weights, this would be one I would say maybe use lighter weights. I'm going to grab my three pound. You can probably keep the same ones you had or again, use nothing. 
extend the arms. We're going to go back for two, up for two with little breaths. So it's an inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, going to your lowest point where you're not going to fall, but you're using your abs. Exhale, exhale. So it's not actually a smooth motion. You're pausing the rest of the way. Pausing the rest of the way. Five. Four. And as with everything, certainly if you're not using weights, you're still getting the benefit of it. The weights are just adding that extra bit of difficulty for your abs and also your shoulders. Let's do one more. Back up. Good. Hinge back. Bring the hands to the chest. And we're going to twist back to center. Exhale, twist back to center. So you're staying nice and lifted. Chest lifted. Belly in. Twisting elbow towards the floor. Exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale. And three, two, the last one, and pull yourself all the way up. Keep your belt on your legs. Go ahead and lower yourself all the way down to the mat. I really need to remember to turn off the lock on this for those 30 minutes. It makes my life very difficult. <laughs> all right, so if you wanted to grab a heavier weight, you could. Again, you don't need to do anything. That heavy weight is going to go across your hips. You can also use lighter weights or, of course, no weight. You're going to lift up and lower down. We're going to use larger movements this time. So you're going to go close to the mat and then squeeze back up. Lower down and lift. I just have my hand here on the weight to not let it fall off. <laughs> you could also, if you're not using weight, just press your hands into your hips and press against them and you create your own resistance. Five, four, three, two, all the way up, squeeze up, 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 as high as you can go, really squeezing those glutes, and now little tiny pulses, like what we normally do, squeezing up, 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 up. Just keep breathing. Lift and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Tiny movements, long, steady breaths. You can make this short breath and like exhale every time you pulse, but some people will find that makes you a little bit dizzy. So probably preferable to just do inhales and exhales. If you have the band around your legs, you're just using that because you have to slightly press out so it doesn't collapse your knees in. Five, four, three, two, and one, and lower that down. Taking a breath, bring the feet a little bit closer to the body and walk the feet close together and press up. And now we're gonna open and close, and open and close. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, the last one, coming down, move the weight off to the side, take off that band if you're using it, give yourself a hug and a little rock from side to side, rock yourself up, spin around, bring yourself to a cross-legged position, take a deep inhale, exhale, hands behind the body, press into the mat, open the chest. And then bring those hands to the heart. One final inhale. Let it go. And we're done. How time flies. 